Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another Dig In lesson. Today we're going to learn that wanting from God is a part of prayer. Say that with me. Wanting from God is a part of prayer. Prayer is talking to God, and part of it is recognizing that His ways are better than ours. So let's point to Him and what He wants. I have a question for you. Have you ever disagreed with a friend or a family member about how to spend time? I know I have. Maybe I wanted to go shopping and someone else was like, no way, we're going to go to the football game or hunting. I don't mind hunting, but let's be honest, you got to get up really early and it's really cold. I'd much rather sleep in my nice warm bed than wake up and maybe go buy a new shirt or something. What about you? Have you ever disagreed with a family member? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to talk about it. Thank you for sharing. You know, we don't always agree on what we want. We don't agree with each other, and we don't always agree with God. But part of prayer is remembering that His ways are better than ours, and asking for His will to be done, even when we disagree. Let's see how Jesus modeled that in the Bible. Remember, the Bible isn't like any other books. It's special. The Bible is one way that God talks to us. And he's here right now, ready to talk to us. So let's talk with him. What do we do when we pray? We fold our hands, we bow our heads, and we close our eyes. God, we know that we don't always agree with people around us or with you. But help us to remember that your will is better and greater than ours. Help us, Lord, for your will to be done. In your name we pray. Amen. Let's get some paper and some crayons or pencils and the picture of the cross. Let's set it to the side of the wall. Since we're learning about prayer, let's start our Bible time by making a wish list of everything that we want God to give us. You've got your paper and you've got your crayons. You can write or draw a wish list. I'll give you one minute to do this. That's it. Time's up. Now, I want you to think for a minute. Are there any items on your list that you don't think you should ask God for? Asking God for things we need, or even what we want, is a part of prayer. But sometimes, that's all we include in our prayers. We think that prayer is about getting what we want. But today, we're going to look at a different side of prayer. Wanting God's will is a part of prayer. Say that with me. Wanting God's will is a part of prayer. That means asking God what He wants and He desires and to do things in His way. 
In the Lord's Prayer, the example Jesus prayed, he said, May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Can you say that with me? May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let's see another example of what that kind of prayer looks like. In the Bible, Jesus prayed another prayer where he asked for God's will, even when it wasn't what he wanted. Jesus knew he was about to get beaten up and humiliated and die on the cross for us. And he didn't want to do that. He called it a cup of suffering, something he knew he had to do and he knew would be hard. Let's see what he said in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 39. Since Jesus walked a little farther away from the disciples, he fell to the ground and he prayed, My Father, if it is possible, do not give me this cup of suffering, but do what you want, not what I want. What do you think Jesus wanted? Man, if I were him, I would want to go back to dinner, enjoy dinner with my friends, and just have a happy life. Do you think he wanted to go and be beaten and humiliated and nailed to the cross? But what do you think God wanted Jesus to do? Let's take 30 seconds to brainstorm some ideas of how Jesus could have gotten what he wanted. Maybe he could have run away or hid. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to brainstorm out loud some ways Jesus could have had what he wanted. Wow, y'all have such a great imagination. Those were some good ideas. God wanted Jesus to die on the cross so that we could be forgiven. Jesus' death would pay the punishment for our sins. Jesus knew that would hurt him physically and emotionally. He could have stopped it in a lot of ways, but you know what? He didn't. Let's read Jesus' prayer again. This time, pay attention of how Jesus did choose to respond. Matthew chapter 26, verse 39, again says, Then Jesus walked a little further away from the disciples. He fell to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it is possible, do not give me this cup of suffering, but do what you want, not what I want. What did you notice about Jesus' prayer? He said, This is what I want, but... Do what you want, not what I want. It's okay to tell God what we want. Jesus was honest about his feelings when he prayed, and he asked God to take away the suffering that was he was about to go through. But then he prayed this, Yet, I want your will to be done, not mine. Do what you want, not what I want. That sounds like a lot like the line from the Lord's Prayer. Let's say that line from the Lord's Prayer again. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Say it again. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. One more time. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Wanting God's will is part of prayer. And sometimes we really don't like God's way. We might need to pray the same prayer over and over. Jesus did. In the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 42 and 44, it says, Jesus went away a second time, and he prayed, My Father, if it is not possible for this painful thing to be taken from me, and if I must do it, I pray that what you want will be done. Have you ever had to do something that you felt like was God's will but was really hard for you to do? Like maybe forgiving your sibling after they did something you didn't like? or giving some of your money to the church even. When we don't want what God wants, we can be honest about that. But then we can pray something like the Lord's Prayer that says, May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Wanting God's will is part of prayer. Say it with me. Wanting God's will is part of prayer. 
But that doesn't mean just going along with God's will while we're kicking and screaming inside. It means turning to God for help, wanting his way. Let's do that now. Let me ask you, have you ever had a shot? Maybe you had to get the flu shot or have some blood drawn? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to tell about that. scary. And you know what? No one likes getting a shot. But sometimes it can help you to hold someone's hand. You still have to do something unpleasant, but holding someone's hand can bring you comfort while you go through it. It can be the same way when God's will doesn't line up with what we want. So I want you to look at your wish list and we're going to pray through it but we'll do it by seeking God's will. For each item on your list, you'll pray, God, I want, and then say your item. And then say, yet my, not my will, but yours be done. I used the example of buying a new top earlier. So I would say, God, I want a new top, yet not my will be done, but yours be done. Helpers, can you help them with this? I'll give you one minute to do it. Remember, God, I want, and then you say your wish, and then you say, yet not my will be done, but your will be done. I'll give you one minute. Wanting God's will is a part of prayer because it shows that we trust that God's way is better than ours. You might want a phone, but maybe that wouldn't be good for you, and God knows it. When we pray for God's will, we are praying out of trust. If you want to trust God and seek His will with your wish list, bring it to your cross and grab a heart sticker. If you don't have a heart sticker, you can cut out a piece of paper with a heart, and use tape to put it over your heart. Now, let's pray together. What do we do when we pray? We fold our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes. God, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We want your will to be done, not ours. Help us pray out of trust in you, believing that your ways are better than ours. In Jesus' name, amen. We're learning that God's will is a part of prayer, and sometimes it's easier to think about what we want than what God wants. What would you ask for if your birthday was coming up? Hmm? I bet you could think of some great birthday gift ideas. Let's see what happened when a boy asked God for his birthday wish. Dear God, as you know, my birthday is coming up, and I really want the new Neptune GX800 gaming system with VR headset and a wireless responsive controller. This is the best gaming system ever. It would make me so happy, but of course, you know what's best, so your will be done.
but I really want the new Neptune GX800. It's amazing. Amen. Happy birthday! Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Dear God, so Christmas is coming up soon, and as you know, I didn't get the Neptune GX800 for my birthday last month, which is okay, because now the Neptune GX S900 has been released. It has improved graphics for more realistic gameplay. It's a little more expensive, but I know I will have so much fun playing all the new games coming out for it. I really, really want it, but your will be done. You know it's best, but I'm sure we're in agreement that the Neptune GXS 900 is amazing. Amen. And one last gift for you. Wonder what this could be. Merry Christmas, son. Hi, I'm Ben. Did you just move here? Yeah, last Saturday. Do you play ball? No, not really. I got this for Christmas and this for my birthday, and I don't even really use them. That's a pretty cool glove. And the bat, too. I've always wanted one like that. Well, do you want to play catch? Uh, sure. You might have to show me a few things, though. No problem. Oh, sorry. No problem. Pray for God's will. Be prepared to experience something more amazing than you could have ever imagined. God is more interested in what you need rather than what you want. Have you ever gotten a present you didn't really like? I know I have. Were you so grateful for it? Did you tell them thank you? Did you pitch a fit? What happened? How could not getting what we want be a good thing? I remember one time I got school supplies for a Christmas present. That is not what I wanted for Christmas. But they actually ended up coming in handy when I went back to school. What good came out of the boy in our video for getting the wrong gifts? The boy in our video wanted a video game system, not a baseball bat. But what he didn't realize is that he could make a new friend with his baseball stuff. What he got was even more amazing than what he wanted because God's will is better than what we want. That's why wanting God's will is a part of prayer. Hey, so now I have my partner Joshua. Hello. And today we've been looking at Jesus' example of wanting God's will as a part of prayer. Can you say that with me? Wanting God's, God's will, will is as a part, part of, of prayer. prayer. It means letting go of what we want or want to do and doing what God tells us is best. God is in control no matter what. But a change happens in our hearts when we choose to want God's will over our own will. Let's do an experiment. Let's do an experiment of opposing forces to see what it's like to fight for control and to let go of it. So I've got a piece of paper and me and Joshua are both going to hold this piece of paper, sorry, this pen with our right hand. Can you turn? 
hold it with your right hand. And I'm going to hold it with my right hand. Can you do it over here? There we go. We're going to hold the same pen. Together we're going to write the word cat. Okay? You write it how you write it. I'm going to write it how I write it. Cat. Does that look like cat? Kinda. Kinda. Well, guys. I am going to give you 30 seconds to do this with your partner at home. Did your picture end up looking like the word cat? Or sort of looks like it? Yeah, it, it kind of does. Kind of does? I was trying to draw a capital A, but, well, you were trying to draw a lowercase A. And see, that's what it's like to fight for control. This time, you're going to hold the pen, but I'm going to lead it, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't lead it, I lead it. Are you ready? Does that look like the word cat? A lot. A lot. That's a lot better. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do it again, but this time the older partner is going to be in charge of leading the pen. The younger partner is just going to hold it. How did it turn out that time? What worked better when you relaxed and let go of control and allowed the older partner to control or when you both had control? What um, do you think worked better, Joshua? I think it worked on the, on the me holding the thing. When you relaxed and let go of control? Yes. Well, what might change in our lives if we let God lead instead of us trying to fight him and us lead ourselves? You think maybe we would have some better outcomes if we let God lead? Yes. Absolutely. And you know what? It's not always easy to let go of what we want to do, but that's why wanting God's will is a part of prayer. Can you say that with me? Wanting God's will is a part of prayer. And each time we talk with God, we can ask for His help, not only to know what He wants us to do, but also for the help we might need for Him to lead us the way the older partner let us the second time. Now, are you guys ready for some singing and dancing? <laughs> Let's go.
real close. God is good and he's in control. Clap your hands like this. Now let's pump this. Stop your feet the same. Now whistle this way. Join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is the mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. Come on now, join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is the mighty God. Always there for us. He's good in every way. Pouring out his awesome love. He's good in every way. He fills us up with peace and joy. He's good in every way. He gives us all we need and more. He's good in every way. Come on now, join me. Yeah. with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is a mighty
That was some great singing and dancing, don't you think so? Yeah. You know, sometimes when we pray, we're focused on holding on to our own way. So what I want you to do is make a fist, like you're holding something very tightly, very tightly. And I'm going to give you 30 seconds to talk to God about what you want, okay? Okay. Here we go. Alright, if you're done praying, keep your hands real tight for right now. You know, wanting God's will is part of prayer, so now we're going to pray with open hands to get ready to accept His way. So open your hands, palms up like you're about to receive a gift, and we're going to pray together. So close your eyes and bow your head. God, thank you that your way is so much better than ours. We pray that your will be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Doesn't that feel so much better than when you're closing it tightly and trying to have control over it? Yeah. Yeah. Just open, being open up to Him. Alright, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Dig In lesson. I uh -huh. hope that you come back next week. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.